the Dublin Shamrocks are ready to have their first official game in franchise history and it's against the Atlanta Falcons let's hope they're more second half 28 to 3 than first half 28 to 3 because we're gonna need that right now now as we set our season goal of the season we're gonna try to say it can playoffs is that a little bit out there I mean possibly we shoot for the stars if you fall you're still amongst the cloud that's not how that goes we know what I mean now, as a reminder one of my big goals is to find a way to get Alex Smith up out of here but the problem is He's getting a lot of money. 24 and a half million this year, 26 and a half million next year. Then he's off the books. But I need him off for the next two seasons. Please. And so this is your first look at the Dublin Shamrocks. The other the away uniforms, because we're not back home in Dublin right now, which feels kind of weird to say. We had to fly all the way across the pond and then down to Atlanta. Atlanta's got new uniforms. We're a new expansion team. Matt Ryan. Julio Jones. That's and they got Todd Gurley. That's going to be really tough for our defense. But offense, I feel good about their chances today. No one knows how good they are. It's about time to find out. Here's our first look at our offense. You might notice that Lindley's not in the game just because, well, he forgot his helmet on the sideline. So he didn't get to come in for the first play. I'm honestly hyped to see what Cook can actually do. This is going to be a heck of an environment for him to be in out here in Georgia. Whoa! Did, did it slip? What the heck just happened there? His first career pass is a pick. Want to talk about nervous? I mean, that's my middle name right now. How was his first career pass a pick? It wasn't even close to him. I'm nervous. Okay. So not, not exactly a great start, but we're going to hope that we can come out here and do a little bit of something out here on defense at least. Play actions are ripe. They got a guy trailing across the middle, and they're going to pick up a first down with that to the eight. As a reminder, if you are hyped for this series and want to see more, make sure you guys subscribe. If you have not, leave a thumbs up on the video, and just let me know how you feel in the comments overall about the team, the decisions we've made, the, the people that are on the squad. I got to know how you feel. It's solid stop there, but it's going to be real, real tough all of a sudden. Just slide Foster out. Hamilton coming through. Trying to clog the gap. Tiger early finds an area and only gets one yard. Big, big play coming up here. Third down and goal. If we can hold them to a field goal, that would be incredible. They're trying to go out here and get a touchdown in their debut in their new uniforms, and they do just that. We tried. We gave some good effort, but it wasn't good enough. Okay? Adeline is in the game now, so an offense to we'll see what we can do. We don't want to throw a pass right now because how it worked in the last time was not ideal. But Lindley goes off for 10 yards in his first career rush. That's better than Cole Cook's passing yards win. A little first and 10 now. Thanks for that run by Lindley. Cole Cook out here scrambling. Got his guy floats one. He's going to find Terry McLaurin is out here rolling. And McLaurin goes down to the 29. That's a much better play than what happened the first time for Cook. I mean, you talk about ideal. That's what I was hoping to see from that first throw, but it did not happen. Going to make something happen. Lily's got some guys out here. He's going to try to spin off one, and they bring him down at the 19. Back-to-back 10-yard -back rushes. I really, like, truly feel like Lindley's going to be that game changer for us. Like, yeah, I love Cook, but Lindley... That dude is going to be something special as he bursts through again and gets lit up. Eight more yards. Also, we can all mention that Lindley's wearing number 33, which is the same number as Scottie Pippen, the greatest basketball player of all time. So that makes me feel so much better. Second and two now. Got Sims going. And that one is blocked away. We're under center now. Got Quinn McLaurin and Arnold in the game. Arnold's first appearance now. Quick pass underneath. We got Quinn. Quinn's going to move his way in. Quinn, they say he's down at the one. They are making a heavy front right now. Honestly, I feel like this is a move because no one's guarding Arnold. Quick pass. Deontay Arnold. One catch, one touchdown. I like the connection. Rookie to rookie. Cook to Arnold. I see that for a long time coming. The first quarter is winding down a little bit. Atlanta's making some good moves. They're all the way down to the 43, and they're trying to track for some more positive gain. Now, the blitz is coming, and Matt Ryan is nowhere to go as Holcomb comes to and gets his first sack of the season. So that brings up a third down, 12 yards to go. Matt Ryan again in shotgun. All the time in the world goes for a check down, and we've got Todd Gurley wrapped up. That should be a field goal attempt for Atlanta coming up. Okay, they're actually going to go for it. Coach said it didn't look like us, so we ended up lining up to... Uh, Play for a miss and good God. To the kicker for the Bears, that was not even close. So now we've got an opportunity with first and 10. Got the ball, no points by Atlanta on that drive. Their position to go ahead and take care of the ball and well, 
our read option didn't go very well. There was an injured player on the team that time, but it was for Atlanta, not for us. So we feel a little bit blessed by that. Got Lindley in motion and wide receiver this time. The wide receiver versus Lindley again, one of the fastest players on the field. He's going to pick up a major gain of 17 yards that time. Got a little first and 10 again, thanks to that wonderful play. Across the middle, we got Arnold. Arnold again looking to make some moves out here. He's going to find himself inside the red zone for his second catch of the game. Hook looking much better than he did in that first drive. He's been masterful the last two times we've had the ball. Hook again. A lot of time here. Hook feeling the pressure. Cook is going to get thrown down to the ground by Davidson for his first sack of the game. Got to do a good job of protecting Cook again. That's our franchise quarterback potentially, so we don't want him to get hurt at all. Speaking of Cook, he drops back. Lindley's there, and there is no one even close. Lindley's got one opportunity, breaks the tackle, gets hit in the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, Thad Lindley. First career touchdown reception. Dance all you want, young fella. You earned that one. While our defense has actually been pretty solid today, they've given up a lot of yards here pretty quickly to Atlanta, who's now again in striking range. Todd Gurley on the move. He's going to get wrapped up by Holcomb pretty quickly after about three. Second down, six yards to go. Matt Ryan again. All the time. We're watching his quick routes. He's going for a deep route. And, well, that's basically nowhere close. Third down. Six yards to go. Got to watch the halfback draw, but probably a quick pass coming up for Atlanta. Go for the check down. Holcomb's going to whip pretty hard, and we end up getting a tackle, but it's a little bit too late. Atlanta feeling good. They're trying to even the score right now. Dublin, we're doing our best to hold them off. The carry to Gurley. Gurley's going to pick up a sizable chunk of three more. So far, Gurley hasn't really popped off for any major yards. We've kept him in check, but I got a feeling it's only so much longer we can do that. Now, he's pretty gassed. So I doubt he gets the ball. They end up giving it to him despite him being completely gassed. And again, they don't really get much there. They end up losing a yard. I feel really good about our run defense. I don't feel as good about our pass defense. And so we're going to have to see if we can do our best to hold him here. They go for Gurley. We got a guy, but Reuben Foster can't get him. He picks up nine. That's another first down for Atlanta. Two-minute warning is now here. Atlanta again on our doorstep, trying to get into the end zone. Reuben Foster bringing the blitz. The whole squad's there, but he throws out of the sack. Incredible play by Matt Ryan to tie Gurley, and Atlanta has tied it up. Your props are the due. That was a fantastic play. So Dublin has a little bit of a two-minute run to go here. First and ten now. They're going to play that pretty strongly. Thad Lindley doing what he does best. Pick up another first down. I know that Lindley doesn't really have a lot of carries today. Only about four in the afternoon. But he has been so big for us all game long. And we've got a big one here as the tight end is going to grab that first down. Look at Sprinkle. None of our tight ends are on paper great. But that was a heck of a grab. 29 big yards. Cole Cook's looking incredible right now. I was nervous after that first play. But so far he's been looking incredible here. we we'll put McLaurin on a deep slant. Got Arnold going deep here. Arnold actually might be the move. Arnold's got a step on him. Ladies and gentlemen, Arnold is going up. Arnold's got him. They say he doesn't have two feet in, but what an attempt at that. Unfortunately, we can't go ahead and review that one. That one would have had to have been reviewed by, obviously, the referees and the team, the NFL booth. Second and 10 now. Tight ends pulling off great moves, but it's thrown a little behind him, and he can't quite grab it. Here we go. Third and 10. A lot of pressure on the team. Let's see what Arnold can do here, running a smart route. McLaurin put him on a slant across the middle late. We'll see what we can get with the rest of everybody else. I like Arnold on the edge. That's the toe tapper. That one's in, and we're going to use our first timeout because we're right where we want to be. First and 10 again for Cook. He's got his guy, and that was a perfect throw. Let him exactly what he needed to do. Cole Cook comes through. But then I would be, I, look, what are they doing? The fall count is there. Deontay Arnold, I have got to throw to the young fella. He has been a burner so far. He had a deep one that he burned a guy for. It couldn't quite work, but this post route, no safety was there for the top help. Jones was late on that and a beautiful toe drag to make his second touchdown of his career in his first game. I'm blown away. So going into halftime, we have a seven-point lead against the Atlanta Falcons. I have been blown away outside of that first drive again where Cole Cook threw one of the worst passes of his young career. He has been electric today, and I'm here for it. Time to see what we can do on defense yet again with another solid drive. Atlanta again has the ball first to start the second half. Put a little bit of pressure on them. They get a quick pass across the middle for about seven yards. Matt Ryan has been on points today. Only two incompletions, one touchdown. He's having a fantastic afternoon. 
and he finds Ty Gurley for a pass that should have been picked off, but our guy just fell asleep. First and 10 again. Atlanta goes for a quick pass to the tight end, and that one swallowed up quickly. The one thing I've noticed is that Matt Ryan has not really thrown the ball to Julio Jones much, if at all, today, and that's obviously benefiting us in how did Anderson drop that? Ryan Anderson drop back in coverage. Should have 100% had that, but it'd be like that sometimes. Big third down coming. Right there, we go for the pick. Foster can't get it, but neither can Gurley. So Atlanta does a really good job of getting an excruciatingly bad punt for us, but good punt for them as they get us all the way down to our own three. And we get that Lindley, though, who has been silently one of the best guys on our team today. If you watch the game, you can tell that he's had a really good one. But if you look at the box score, you're not really blown away by too much there for him. Back out here again, trying to find a lane. Can't quite get it, but he does pick up two. Third and three, Atlanta looking to stop us. They really fail to do that a lot of times on third downs today. Lindley's got an opportunity. Barely got it. An arm tackle brings him down after four. Grady Jarrett's really been an absolute problem in the middle of the defense. The times we've been stopped there, it's pretty much been him as a one-man show. Old Cook feel a little bit of pressure. The young fella running. He's going to get hit. And no, 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 no. <laughs> His first fumble. He doesn't get the recovery. Atlanta has the ball. One of the knocks coming out about Cole Cook in college is that he just fumbled a lot. He had over 20 fumbles in his college career. The bright side is he makes a lot of great plays, but that many fumbles, it's a little nerve wracking. And as you might have noticed, we do have him wearing a glove on his left hand in hopes that'll help him hold on to the ball a little bit more. But so far here in a dome, it didn't really do much to keep it from fumbling. Now, what a hit on the edge there by 51. That's a monster tackle there. My Hamilton is stopping where they need to be. So third and 13 right now. They go for half X screen. That one's going to be dropped. It ends up getting picked up by Gurley. But again, field goal coming up for Atlanta because they could not convert on that play at all. Atlanta lining up for their first field goal make of the day. They obviously kicked one earlier and it was a heck of a shank that wasn't even close. This one is up on the left hand side, but it is going to be good and it cuts the lead to four. Our goal this time is just to have much better ball security. We've seen a pick by Cook to start and then his last drive, obviously the fumble that didn't really go his way. We would like to avoid doing that at all costs. Lindley's playing well so far, though. Averaging a solid yards per carry in his debut. We need a little bit more from him, however. We'll put Quinn on the in route here. Look again, all the time in the world. Got his guy Quinn. Quinn's going to avoid that tackle a little bit and gets brought down to the 39. Taking our time. We don't need to force a lot of passes. Again, we have a young, unproven QB who's thrown some great balls, but he's also thrown some bad ones. So we want to chill. We would like our offensive line to block a little bit better. Great tackle by Grady Jarrett. He has been all over the middle of the field today. And only a four-point lead for our squad at the moment. Going to get something. Lindley's going to get hit. There's a flag on the play as he gets tackled towards the backfield. I have to imagine, though, it's going to be against the offense. And that one, of course, is going to be against the offense here. Brandon Scherf with the holding drops us back a lot. That brings up a tough second and 22 right now. Don't love that whatsoever. Look again. A lot of time here. He's got his guy McLaurin feeds him a little bit too much. McLaurin's going to pick up a lot of yards, however. That pass also gives Cole Cook 200 yards in the afternoon, but we have a monster third and three conversion coming up. Gonna get it. Lily's going to run right through and picks up all that he needs and some more. And T. Young again, second time he's been injured today, he's going to come out for a couple of plays. A lot of guys out here. First and 10. Arnold going out there for a catch that he cannot bring in. Great coverage all around. Second down. Look again, all the time in the world. He's got his tight end leaking out of the backfield. Sprinkle's going to go further down the field than we probably imagine. He's down almost into the red zone. Gotta love how this offense is coming together on this drive here. A lot of conversions, a lot of smaller plays, but they're all putting together a fantastic drive. Now, Lindley's trying to show off the speed, but he can't quite get away from the defense there. We're having a lot of trouble right now getting away from either the middle of the line or the outside part of the line. They are killing us on the run game and stifling a big part of our offense. So we got a nice little halfback screen coming up here for Lindley. Lindley's going to make a couple of moves. He's chugging forward, and I believe at the end of the third quarter, he's going to have it up for the first down. The refs say so. So going into the fourth, we're nursing a four-point lead. We need points right here. Atlanta obviously expecting a run more than anything here, but we're still going to go ahead and go forward with it. Lindley's going to bounce out, gets brought back alive, but ends up with four still. Second down, six yards to go. Arnold leaking out. No one's really seeing him. He ends up breaking out of that tackle. Are you kidding me? And he picks up four, but that was an awkward play. Arnold still seems to be okay. We're still seeing him into the game, but we're actually going to switch things up and go with the running play here. Lindley got it. That was the perfect play call in the first rushing touchdown of the young fella's career. 
I expect a whole lot more to be coming with that. He's got a receiving one. He's got a rushing one. He says, uh-uh, I'm going to keep on eating today. Atlanta knows there's a lot of pressure on them. The home fans are a little bit relentless in the moment, knowing that their team's down 11 big points against an expansion team. Pass goes out to the tight end. We're going to try to bring him down, and we do, but it's not until he got eight yards. Matt Ryan hasn't really went for a lot of yards today. Under 150 pass yards on the day is uh, weird to see from a guy that's normally throwing for so many yards game after game, and he finally finds Julio Jones. Unreal to see Julio Jones finally get another catch. It's been what feels like forever. He even had one before that. Watching the guys in the middle. We're not giving them anything deep. We're going for the short yardage. They pick up even more yardage than we anticipated. Atlanta definitely feeling it at the moment. Getting up a lot of yards. We're going to bring a little bit of press coverage here. First and 10. Five minutes left here. They go to the tight end oh, no. out of the backfield. And he's going to get down inside the 10. Now we're a little bit in trouble. But he actually gets hurt. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays for them. Tight end has been their main guy. He's hurt. So we'll see where Atlanta ultimately goes here on first and goal. I would imagine Ty Gurley's their guy. They don't go for the run. Matt Ryan running a little bit, gets hit, throws it as he gets hit, and that one goes out of bounds. Second and goal. And that line together a little bit. Leo Jones on the left-hand side. They opt to go for a run. We got a lot of guys there, and we stop him after one. Third and goal. This is a big drive right here for us. And we get a stop. Keep them out of the end zone. And Ryan looking for guys. He's got a couple people around him. He dumps it off. That one's going to be knocked loose, however. And they got a big decision. They opt to trust their defense and go for it here for a field goal. So they end up saying we're not going to go for the touchdown. Field goal it is. Kicker's one for two on the afternoon. He goes up. That is right down the middle. They have now cut the lead to eight points. It's manageable again for them. So for us, there's one thing we got to make sure we do. Get first down so we can control the clock right now. Lindley again looking to find some room. Lindley's going to break through and he's dropped after nine. You've seen Lindley get a lot of touches today, but I'd like to see him get a little bit more as he's almost 200 yards on the afternoon. That's second and one, McLaurin moving. McLaurin's going to run directly into a lot of opposition. Let's just say that. So you could argue that wasn't our best decision to go for that there. A little end around maybe now. Could have been a better decision made. Across the middle, oh. look at that catch by Deontay Arnold. Snatches it away from the defender and picks up a crucial first down. Quinn and Atlanta know they're in trouble at the moment. Another first down is going to be really, really tough for them to battle back from. They end up going for a big stop here. After, stop Lindley after one. Second out of nine. Two-minute warning is going to come up after this play. Jared just blitzes through our offensive line, but he guesses incorrectly. We pick up a big seven. 31, one of the biggest plays of the game. We convert this. Atlanta has to start using their timeouts, and they're in a whole lot of trouble. And not only do we convert it, Lily's going to get that, break the tackle, and then he goes down into field goal range. Atlanta got the worst news possible on that play. Lindley is a machine. Over 100 yards rushing in his debut. Two touchdowns total, one rushing, one receiving. And he's trying to go ahead and add some more out here, but he's going to get brought down a little crazily after five. Atlanta uses her second timeout now. Only one remaining. Got a second and four. Lindley tries to go through, but he's not getting through two big defenders like that. Atlanta now with their final timeout of the game. Third and two. Atlanta probably expecting a run here. We're going for a pass. Going to our young guy. Great catch. There's a flag on the play. I think we're okay. There's pass interference on the defense for taking that. And honestly, whether we accepted that or didn't accept that, it would have been okay. We'd have had the same yardage at the 15, so... Doesn't matter. Atlanta messed up regardless. And Lindley just got lit up there. What a hit. We're chewing the clock, but if Lindley happens to score again, it is what it is. Another run down the middle. Atlanta. You've got to be kidding me. Lindley burst through the middle. Got a touchdown. Would have been his second rushing touchdown of the day. But, uh, yeah, 75. You seem a little nervous right now. Yeah, that one's coming back. Brandon Scherf strikes again. And keep in mind, we just signed Scherf to a contract at the end of last season to keep him on this team long term. And he's making plays like that? Not ideal. Not ideal at all. So on third and long, we're just going back with one final run here. Lindley's going to go ahead and take that one down, and that will end the game. Atlanta, sorry to ruin your season to start. And so just as easily as that, this young team, this talented team, puts it all together. Yeah, that first play was scary. Yeah, that first pass was horrible. But Lindley put on a show. Cole Cook outside of that first pass. Fantastic this afternoon. So in our season opener, Cole Cook throws 15 for 20, 255 yards, three touchdowns and one pick. Matt Ryan, 
didn't really test the ball down the field too much threw for 194 with only one touchdown today on the ground though thad lindley a fantastic debut for him 24 attempts 113 yards and one touchdown todd Gurley could never really get it going against our team when we see cole cook out there two for three he definitely fumbled and we gotta again work on that McLaurin, that end around didn't work and mckissick only had one carry for three yards in the air though i was mostly surprised by deontay arnold who didn't really start the game strong but came on pretty late six grabs 73 yards two of those being for a touchdown russell gage jr had 551 leading atlanta with todd Gurley right behind him with a touchdown and then they got in the air too with 355 and a touchdown we see Sprinkle had a couple of big grabs. Quinn has some solid. McLaurin, we want to get him a little bit more involved. But overall, this receiving core didn't play too bad today for the young rookie quarterback. On defense, Ruben Foster went off today. Ten total tackles for him. Darby, Holcomb coming in with six and five, respectively, after that. From a sack perspective, we only had two. Holcomb got the first one, and then Deron Payne came in and got himself one later on. And interceptions, we had none, but ultimately, I would like to see our corners step it up a little bit more. Still, they had blanket coverage all day. Julio Jones was pretty much ineffective, and I like that a lot. After the game, we got great news. Our guy Thad Lindley, who arguably could have been player of the game between him and Cole Cook, it's an opportunity to get his skills upgraded. So we got elusive power and receiving. He valued that elusive ability. We're going to go ahead and get him now to an 80 overall, which is fantastic news for our team. He gets plus one to ball carrier vision, carrying, change of direction, and spin move. All things we need him to have upgraded. Keep in mind, we still don't know his actual depth rate. He's played 196 downs. We need him to get to 500 before that's unveiled. But when we find out, you guys will be the first to know. So our team played well in their first ever game. You gotta love that. Look, I know I didn't give the defense probably enough credit as we should have, but our corners played locked down today. Yeah, they gave up a couple of plays, but a lot of the plays were short yardage and Matt Ryan had nothing deep. Julio Jones was pretty much non-existent on the football field and you can never say that about that guy unless he's injured. So again, shout out to the defense, shout out to Cole Cook, and shout out to Thad Lindley. A lot of pieces I'm happy about. But up next, we got a big opponent and uh, we gotta lock up big time against the Saints. Our first ever home game, out to Dublin we go.